In this video, I'm going to put these numbers into ascending order. Now, to help me, I'm going to write these numbers one underneath the other, and I'm going to make sure that the decimal points line up, the units column lines up, the tenths column lines up, the hundredths column lines up, and the thousandths column lines up. So we have 2.6, 2.06, and 2.006. OK, and then fill in the rest of the gaps with zeros. OK, so ignoring that column, then I look for the smallest number. And I've got 6, the next one would be 60, then 600, then 606. So the smallest is 2.006. The next smallest is 2.06. Okay, so I've done that one, and I've done that one. Then we've got 2.6. And then I've got 2.606. Okay, and so. I've put them from the smallest to the largest, so in ascending order. Right. Now with example number two, we've got negatives. They're all negatives here. So again, I'm going to write minus 8.12, then minus 8.201, making sure my tenths and hundredths column line up. And the decimal points, of course, minus 8.102, and then minus 8.021. And I'm just going to fill that one in with a zero. Now, because we are working all with negatives here, the smallest will be the most negative. So I'm looking for, if I cover up my minus 8 and points, I'm looking for the largest one first, which is the 201. So minus 8.201, the most negative one, goes first. Then the next most negative is the minus 8.120. So minus 8.12. Then we're going to have the minus 8.102. And I'm left with minus 8.021. OK, 